In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my live trading session. The chart we're looking at is S&P 500 and mini futures. The time frame that I'm using is 2000 tick chart, which is very similar to one minute chart. I'm going to be relying only on price action. And as you can see right now, the market is very slow after open and it's very neutral. We can see that we have EMA in the middle of these bars. We have a sideways momentum and this is consolidation. This is a no trade zone. I'm not taking any setups when the market is offering me indecision like this. So at this point, pretty much there is no clear bias and all I'm doing is sitting on my hands, not taking impulsive entries and waiting for prices to show me some clear structure. The downtrend created the break new extreme combined with the fact that this was a small trend range. These consolidations or congestions, they're nothing more, nothing less, but a variations of trend ranges and most breakouts will fail. You can see prices broke lower, came back into the trend range. According to the news calendar, we have high impact news in two minutes can cause a lot of volatility spikes all over the place. So I'm going to be a little bit careful not taking the setup before the news and let's see what the news will come out with. Our channel just broke the bottom trend channel line, which is causing overshoot. Now this means that I can expect stronger momentum in opposite direction and this is right now happening. So as you can see, we have a second entry short, but this is not a good high probability setup because the market context is not aligning. You can see the overshoot is breaking the bottom trend channel line indicating I can expect stronger bullish momentum and also I had shortened uptrend in play. And lastly, you can see how far away the body is from the EMA. So everything is telling me I need to be patient, skip the second entry short right now you can see that the prices are creating a small break and the new extreme however the bias is still bearish the downtrend is confirmed so i'm not thinking about buying just yet all i'm thinking about is letting the bullish correction play out and resume looking to sell resuming the video as you have a small break new extreme but since we are still above ema and it is an inside bar of this big bullish bar it's not really any setup because the double trap has to close below the ema and you should at least break above this felt second entry short so right now I'm just waiting. Although as I'm watching this, I can see that we have potential lower high confirmation setup of the visual tool like a pullback, which would be quite interesting because the bias is still bearish. So let me see how this closes and I'm gonna consider maybe taking this. All right, traders, I'm assuming the video as I entered the lower high and you can see I'm going for a tick target profit because it was such a strong bar I was hesitating a little bit. I waited for this bar to reverse all the way back down. This is telling me that I have to enter and I'm going for a text. But right now we can see that the prices are reversing on me, but it is a lower high strongly below the exponential moving average. And at this point, I pretty much have to hold this setup. So let's see what the price action is going to do. My stop loss has to go always one tick above the single bar to protect my trade. I'm not going to move it in case I'm wrong. I want to get stopped out and re-enter on the next one. I'm going for a take, which is two point target profit scalp. And I'm leaving one contract as a runner in case market does something unexpected. You can see the risk to reward ratio is basically very close to being one to one. We were very close to hitting our target profit, but prices right now are bouncing on us again. We just need a couple more ticks. All right, then we get out. So I'm going to tighten this to break even because anything we make right now is just a bonus because the scalp was our main portion. It was two points worth of a scalp. Lower high option has a small break and a new extreme, but it looks like our runner will get stopped out here. Resuming the video as we have a failed second entry long, we have a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long failure. But at this point, you can see we pushed above EMA. The signal bar is doji. And we're going a little bit more sideways after such a big bull bar. This is not a good enough signal for me to sell at this point because you would expect EMA reject strongly and some nice bearish bar. So it may work for a scalp, but I believe that this was much better set up, much cleaner, much stronger signal bar at this point is getting a little bit more sideways. The downtrend keeps continuing. We can see how the low the day key level acted as a support and then transformed into a resistance the breakout pullback pattern sellers are coming into the market but you can't really take any setup here it's too congested the second entry show didn't even trigger you had to wait for two another inside bars so you have to be patient 
and you can see prices are right now creating the end of the push phase correction phase is starting and what i'm looking for is a second entry short chance for me to capitalize on this downtrend because the trend right now is still bearish we're looking for high priority setups to sell Okay, we have a little bit of a second entry short here, but it triggered below this bullish bar, which was inside bar of this doji. It's not really offering me a great bearish bar. So context wise, this is a breakout pullback second entry short as we were expecting. But in the way it formed, doesn't really allow me for take this setup, which is unfortunate because we can see small congestion is a breakout pullback. It tested it, but look at the horrible bar. I can't really enter. Right now, the market is correcting which means you can see I have to redraw every single time the shortened channels because there are shortened channels even for the corrections and if I don't want to pull the trigger too early sell prematurely I need to keep these channels on my chart every single time you can see we have a break we're attempting for prices to create the new extreme prices are breaking this nicely confirmed downtrend you can see prices were getting sideways uptrend has a break new extreme since we have a break of this downtrend the rules tell us that we expect for prices to retest the new extreme of the downtrend so i'm not thinking about reversing the market just yet in fact all i'm observing is letting the correction play out see push below ema which is going to give me the confirmation of the bearish momentum and after that some nice felt second entry long below ema or if the lower high is going to be really good below EMA I might consider that as well the downtrend has a break move to new extreme as according to rules right now I expect a little bit of a correction possible reversal but this was quite a decent downtrend so I think we may have a couple pushes lower either way I cannot really take the first second entry short after there's a break and a new extreme I need to let it give it time to correct a little bit more and draw the slightly wider uptrend We can see that the prices are respecting the break new extreme, break new extreme. You have the two leg -like pullback, two leg -like pullback, market likes to move in pairs of twos. I was looking for low or high or felt second entry long, which never formed. I couldn't really pull the trigger here because at first I had my resistance around this area and there is no prior confirmation for me to identify this resistance. So it was in the middle of no man's land, but you can see how powerful the two leg -like pullback setup is. If the trend is down we have a break new extreme i expect a stronger correction this is what we got and right now since the bias is so strong we keep still creating lower lows i took a little break but right now i'm resuming the video and i'm making my channel wider because we keep creating so many lower lows even after new low of the original channel and you can see it fits fairly nicely off the highs off the lows we have small overshoot so i'm expecting for prices to correct a little bit longer i'm going to measure the first lag project it see where it gets me so i expect a little bit stronger correction option has a new high and then i would start thinking to sell again because this right here is a quite a decent strong downtrend not that many opportunities for us to sell however we had a decent second entry short and a great lower high confirmation of the second entry short and confirmation of the trend line we have a strong push below ema so the trap that i'm expecting is a bullish trap felt second entry long to see if we can trap longs on a second entry long that's going to fail and resume the continuation of the entire downtrend we have a felt second entry long but the body is very far away from the ema there's a little gap it's forming too low so if we can get a micro second entry short continuation of the felt second entry long i would consider all right traders resuming the video as i'm going to take a second entry short i'm going to use my limit order two ticks back because the bar is quite big and i want to have some leeway here so let's see if we can get filled new low first entry short second entry short new high first and mm -hmm. new high first entry long second entry long failure continuation maybe we can still pull but i was a little bit greedy the bar is quite big but it's a new low first entry short second entry short new high first entry long second entry long failure visual this one was far away from ema so we can see this is more of a continuation great bearish bar take one thing higher trap all the bulls reverse strongly below ema and we missed the setup unfortunately i was a little bit too greedy that's a shame that was a great setup all right traders i'm gonna wrap it up with my one single trade after me missing this great second entry short continuation of first second entry long i feel that i'm a little bit frustrated so i would be revenge trading i cannot really push anymore but you can see if you are patient 
you can get a couple textbooks, high probability setups. Pretty straightforward day according to price session rules. We can see that the low today support transformed as a breakout pullback to resistance. And if you had any doubts about the validity of this downtrend, you have to disregard those because the downtrend was confirmed after this resistance rejected prices so strongly. When you're trading a trading market, you want to make sure you're paying attention to trend line rule even for the corrections, not just for the main channel, but also for the counter -trend, trend corrections because they all have a break new extreme. That is when the correction phase will be over and you're looking for setups at the key entry points. And you can see market geometry is clearly working. The day was a quite a strong downtrend. So even when your first channel has a break in your extreme, you can see that the market is not reversing. Instead, keeps creating lower highs and lower lows. So this is a sign that you need to adapt to a wider channel. And notice the pattern the price action follows. We have a two-legged pullback here. We have a two-legged pullback here. We even have the two-legged pullback right here. So once you see clear broad two legs, you expect depletion, you expect push phase to start, but you want to see confirmation of the key entry point. And there ended up being a tiny break, move to new extreme, a lot of profit taking and the market ended up reversing. So straightforward day, not the many setups right here, but there was nice area on the chart where you get three high priority setups within 20 minutes. So it's worth waiting the turn. I hope you had a decent trading day. I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck with your trading.